according to the general theory of relativity gravity is a curvature in space time according to this theory mass and energy creates curvature in space time according to the theory this curvature in space time what we experience or understand as gravity starlight bending and gravitational lensing precession of the perihelion of mercury's orbit these phenomena are considered today uh, uh, two of the important experimental evidences for this curved space time theory suggested suggested by einstein however based on my research there is an issue with this theory according to my studies every mass effect in the universe are explosively transformed into a another form of matter in fact every mass effect creates a type of matter the release of energy associated with a mass effect is because of the explosive transformation of the missing mass mass effect is a universally occurring phenomenon for example every active star in the universe supernova explosions black hole mergers all these events creates mass effects on a larger scale that means the entire universe is filled with this type of matter every massive body because of gravity maintains a dense region of this matter around it the density will be high near the body and it decreases with the distance when a beam of light passes through this region of space it will refract and bend this can explain starlight bending and gravitational lensing at the same time the dense space filling matter surrounding the sun can provide a new insight into the phenomenon of the precession of the perihelion of mercury's orbit each time when the mercury approaches the perihelion region because of the interaction of the space filling matter with the, the mercury it will slightly skid forward so this can explain the uh, orbital anomaly of the mercury so these both phenomena are not the result of the curved space time suggested by general relativity thank you for watching i am joseph george